To my knowledge, we've made no arrests. I do not believe our students were involved in the vandalism and the violent behavior that occurred. Uh, this was a group of agitators that were masked up. We got word they were coming up Bancroft. Uh, and as soon as they, they, they did destruction as they were coming up Bancroft, and as soon as they turned the corner onto Sproul Plaza, they were throwing rocks. They were throwing commercial grade um, fireworks at our officers. They began throwing Molotov cocktails and picking up barricades and throwing those. Those were not our students. That's not our students' behavior. We saw something that we have never seen on this campus before, at least not the time that I've been here, that's quite a time. And that was a group that came in uniform, covered in black, utilized paramilitary tactics in a clearly designed and well thought out plan to disrupt the event tonight. We've just never seen anything like that. For those people, this university isn't an educational institution, it's a venue. They have no skin in the game, they care nothing for what we're here for. And we were faced with a challenge that I think was quite unprecedented. Do we regret letting you go on a schedule? No, we work very closely with the Berkeley College Republicans to have the event occur. Uh, we've had several meetings with them. We've been we've been uh, working with them so that they could have as successful an event as possible. So there's no regrets on our part. We wanted to actually see the event be a successful event. We wanted to make sure that our students could have meaningful dialogue about the issues that the speaker wanted to talk about. We have no regrets, but at the same time, nor do we have any legal ability to cancel. That would involve prior restraint on free expression. The Constitution is very clear. The courts are very clear. The law is very clear. And this university in particular is always going to uphold people's constitutional rights, particularly those described in the First Amendment. You know, and I, I want to add to that, that we spent a great deal of time and effort working um, many of the groups on the campus to ensure that Mr. Yiannopoulos was able to conduct his event. The Berkeley College Republicans were able to have an event here that they hosted, but also to ensure that our students were able to gather and have meaningful dialogue out in the plaza area. We worked very hard to make that happen, and we're, we're, we are disappointed that that did not get to occur. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.